Okay, during this video we're going to be drawing the base plate from Trammel Toy Drawings. Uh, we want to create a 2D sketch. We're going to draw this on the XY plane. We're going to start by choosing the rectangle tool and starting at the point of origin and drawing a rectangle that is a distance of 4.25 inches long and it's 0.5625 tall. Next we want to uh, finish the sketch and extrude it and we're going to extrude it 4.25 inches next we're going to be putting some holes over here this entire surface here will be populated with holes uh, we're gonna create four holes over here that are repeated throughout the the surface and we're going to mirror them to different regions of the top of this or of the surface so we want to choose the hole command and the first hole that we're going to create is a through hole uh, 0.25 inches just like it says on the default <clears throat> so I'm going to click over here somewhere where it's going to live and I need to define where exactly it lives so I'm going to click on this edge and I'm going to type in a distance of 0.375 and I'm going to click on this edge over here and type in that same distance 0.375 next I'm going to select apply in the dialog box then I'm going to click over here and I'm going to type in or actually I'm going to click on this edge here and type in a distance of 1.5 and I'm going to click on this edge over here and type in a distance of 1.5 and then apply okay next we're going to make two opposite holes one over here and one over here but at different a different type of hole we're going to be creating um, A countersink hole actually it's not countersink it's a through hole but it's threaded it's a tapped hole so we want to click on tapped and we want to define it just like it says here size 0.25 it's a quarter inch 20 UNC designation type hole so again it's a through hole but it's tapped so click on tapped and the size is 0.25 designation quarter inch dash 20 UNC I'm gonna click over here where the first one lives and I'm gonna click on the edge to define exactly where it lives 0.375 and I'm gonna click on this edge and type in 1.5 and then we want to select apply and we're going to make another one of those holes over here and again I want to click on the edge and type in point 375 and I want to click on this edge and type in 1.5 and then apply Okay, next we're going to use the mid-plane tool to mirror each of these four holes to different the other three regions of this block. So I'm going to go up here to the plane command and select mid-plane between two planes. And I'm going to click on this, this edge. And then I'm going to click on this edge to define where that mid-plane lives. And then I'm going to click on this edge. Whoops, we need to go back up to mid-plane. Select mid plane between two planes and click on this edge and then uh, this edge. So now we should have two mid planes crisscrossing uh, the surface of this uh, square. Okay, next we're going to mirror these four holes across. Uh, so what I want to do is select the mirror command. And I'm going to select these holes by just simply clicking over here in the browser on each of the 
features that I want to mirror across. Then I'm going to select the mirror plane arrow up here in the dialog box. I'm going to select the plane and select OK. Okay, we're going to select mirror command again. And this time we're going to click on those same four features in the uh, browser, hole one, hole two, three, and four. And we're going to go down here and select what we just mirrored across, the mirror one. So now we've got all of these holes selected. We're going to select the mirror plane in the dialog box, and we're going to select this plane right here to mirror across. And OK. OK, <clears throat> next we want to select the material. So go up here where it says generic. We want to select aluminum 6061. And uh, we want to save this as the base plate in your Trammel toy folder. 